for me for 2023. Because God told me some people are asking in their heart. They started the year with full faith that yes, with the promises our ears have heard, we are going to see this and that. But now it's like their faith is shaking and they are asking in their hearts. They are asking in their hearts within 28 days, are you sure any still good thing can still come out of this Jerusalem of mine? Now, if you are the type of the person here, you are asking this kind of a question, the Lord has sent me to you today. And you will, the, 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 the message will answer your question. Listen, God will show up for you. I declare again, God will show up for you. But apart from declaring, this is the answer that God gave me. Let's start preaching with point number one. It is important you understand your position in him first. So that you can know whether to expect anything or not. Now what's the first thing? It is important that you know your position in him first. Who am I in Christ? Who am I in God? Who am I to God? Let's put it that way. Tani mo je si olorun. Now ti o ye eni to o je ti o ba ye e ti o ba ti ye e o ti le mo boya ko se ma durudu isele yanu abi boya yanu ti eni sele. Now that's the first thing the first answer God gave me. The first thing tell the people let them understand who they are to God. Who are you to God? Now and let's answer that question by looking at the first uh a scriptural verse that we are going to read in Matthew chapter 15 from verse 22 to verse 28. Matthew chapter 15 from verse 22 to verse 28. We all are going to look at the scripture. I will be the one reading because there's no time. But we all are going to look at it. And it's a teaching that will take us from scripture to scripture because I want you to understand who you are in Christ. If you are born again, I want you to understand who you are in Christ. Matthew chapter 15 from verse 22 to verse 28. I'm waiting. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. It means that the, the devil of infirmity, you know, of a, 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 a madness. Or it could be seizure. Yes, it could be anything. Now, these are demons that are very aggressive. It could be insanity. You know, it could be, but it's a devil that was really uh, uh, angry, operating in the life of that girl. But he answered he answered her, not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered not, a, okay, go to the next verse, we don't have all the time, for she's just crying and following us. The disciples will be saying, he's embarrassing. I believe those disciples are like, brother precious, I have them here like that. He, he, a brother precious, if he's around me, he doesn't take nonsense. It's like ever. They are the type that will say, Papa, I do rubbish. You know, but he answered and said, I am not sent. I will run me. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you are not part of those that I am sent to. I am only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Show us the next verse. She was the next verse. He's answering our question. I'm only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. The next verse, I can't wait. Verse 25. Then came she and worshipped, saying, Lord, help me. She now switched from prayer to worship to see whether Jesus will change his mind, you know, and was worshipping and said, please help me, help me. But he answered and said, it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Verse 27. Verse 27. I'll stop at 28. It's not meet to cast the children's bread to dogs. Verse 27. And she said, O Tolesor, truth, Lord, yet 
the dogs eat of the crumbs. I don't expect your children to eat what falls to the ground. You can leave that to dogs, which falls from the master's table. Verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman of great, O woman, great is thy fate. Be it unto thee as we am, even as thou will. And her daughter was made whole from that very. You know what touched me from all this reading? It means that miracle is the children's bread. What is the children's bread? Miracle. Is Christiana here? Miracle is the children's bread. Now the crumbs that fell from the children's table was strong enough to heal that woman's daughter. The devil left. It was not the main one, but the one that fell from the table healed that girl. Now, I'm going somewhere. I wrote something down. I told you Jesus told me to come and answer a question. Hallelujah. I wrote here, pay attention to the father's love. Pay attention to the love of the father. He called what the woman requested for the children's bread, which means miracle. Miracle is the children's bread. Miracle to every born again Christian, hear me. Miracle to every born again Christian is bread provided by our father for us hallelujah now if you are still saying pastor i don't know will god show up god said i should tell you that miracle is the bread that the heavenly father chooses to use to feed us daily how many parents understand that as parents it is not the responsibility of children to look for food by themselves abby as long as they are under age it is the responsibility of parents. So which means that God is telling us that it is his responsibility to give us what? Miracles. Now I'm going somewhere. He didn't even also stop there. He now went further again to Luke chapter 11 from verse 1 to verse 3. Now look at the instruction of the father before I will answer your question. Will God still show up for me is the title of the message. Luke chapter 11 from verse 1 to verse 3. Look at it. Now look at it. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John also taught his disciples to pray. Now verse 2, Jesus now started to say, no problem. I'm going to teach you how to pray. And he said unto them, when he pray, say our father. Now which means that when we become born again, we become children of God. Who is God to you? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Now, I'm trying to make you understand your position. Who is God to you? So, who are you to God? Now, he said, he said, Our Father, which art in heaven, oh, hallowed be thy name, that's praising God. Thy, king, thy, thy kingdom come, that's asking for his will to be done. Thy will be done as it is in heaven, so, so in earth. Verse 3 is where we are really going. Verse 3, he now said in the Lord's prayer, the Lord said, give us this day. Give us day by day. Our what? Which means, we are supposed to be asking for a miracle. How long? Every day. Miracle is the father's bread for his children. Onje and he's now saying to us in the module of, module of prayer every day he hopes to feed us not even hope he's to feed us with miracles every day that's why he now says when you wake up you want to pray in the morning he says it must be a daily thing give us this day which means there's a miracle for yesterday you didn't hear me there's a miracle for today. It is like manna. The manna of yesterday will rot today. So which means as children of God, we are supposed to be asking for daily bread. And what is the bread? The children's bread. Miracle! I'm going somewhere. Will God show up for me? Now that we have 28 days to go. Will God still show up for me? 
I also wrote here, see the kind of father we have. In Matthew chapter 7, 9 to 11. Matthew chapter 7. I want you to see the kind of father we have. Matthew chapter 7, 9 to verse 11. Shagada basekele maskele rebos. Matthew chapter 7 from verse 9. Oh, what man is there among you? Who, if his son ask for bread, will give him a stone? Well, look, another. He now went further. There are some fathers like that. Too. We used to have one member like that. Her husband, very wicked man. The woman was our member. They've relocated now. When the father comes back home, because she and the wife had misunderstanding, when their father comes back home, he will go to the kitchen and eat the whole food in the pot. That when your mommy comes, she knows what to do. God is not kind, that kind of a father. He said, oh, or if, if he asks for fish, he will now give him a serpent. There are fathers that do that. But God is not talking about himself. Next verse. He said, if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father who is in heaven give good things to those who does what? Who ask him. So will God still show up for you bringing these scriptures together? Let me ask you. Can God still show up for you? Bringing all these scriptures together? The God that said, no, 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 no. I won't give that woman the bread of my children. Miracle. The God that said to us, ask for daily bread, miracles every day. The God that also came to say, listen, listen, even if earthly fathers will treat you bad, I am not that kind of a father. I will give whatsoever you ask. Can I tell you this truth? So many of us children of God don't know the kind of father we have. Is what I can hear. Don't close your eyes. So many children of God don't know the kind of father they have. I believe my children have lived with me for many years. They don't want me to be mentioning their age. You know, children and age. I don't know. When they get to a certain point, daddy and mother look at me. Mother look at me. So I won't mention that. They've lived with me so, for so, so many age, years. If you tell them to write about their father, they don't know what to write. At least yesterday they were talking about their mom. And Oriola said he owned what he knows about his mommy. And mommy said, I will beat you. He said, no, that mommy, I know you now. But the problem is this. So many of us, children of God, we listen to voices that speaks against our father. And we believe because we don't know our father. Because if we actually know our father, some things won't move you. If you actually know, you are laughing now. So you are beginning to know your father. <laughs> if you actually know your father, you don't know your father. I know of some of members of our church who didn't grow up to know their father. One of them was just telling me, a matured man. He said, Daddy, my mommy just told me, my daddy, I want to go and see him. I pity him. I say, yeah. So the name you have been bearing since is not your father's name. It was a borrowed name. But do you know your heavenly father? I will tell you something now. When I want to begin to give you points. Your father, heavenly father, is more loving than your earthly father. It's just that you don't know him. There are some sacrifices your earthly father can never make for you. You know, many years ago, we were trusting God for fruit of the womb. First three years of our marriage, there was no child in our house. I didn't know why, but thank God I was calm. It was after my first child came that I had to ask the Lord, Father, why did it take long? He said, if I had given you a child, 
before now, it will have affected your life and ministry. Because even you were not balanced. Do you know your father? That's why Jesus came to die. So that we can have father to, to son relationship with him. So that we can read the Bible and understand who our father is and the natures of our father. Now let me tell you this, this little story. Okay, I have so many stories I'm going to tell you. I have so many stories I'm going to tell you. So many stories if time permits. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Let me start by saying, this bread that he calls miracle, what is a miracle? What actually is a miracle? Miracle is when God decides to show up. Short definition. No, no, no. Miracle is when God decides to show up. Me. Uh, brother, brother, how did it happen? Uh, that's what, and the Bible calls it children's bread. Children's bread. Miracle is children's bread. And miracle is God showing up. So which means every day when we are praying, Lord, I need a miracle. What are we saying? Lord, show up. And the Bible calls it our bread that he cannot deny us of. If you think there are no miracles, I will share testimonies with you. Ah, miracles are real. Low. Miracles happen. I put it I like this in my notes again. Miracle is God stepping in. God stepping in. One of the miracles that really touched my life, touched my heart. Up till now, bloggers do not understand that miracle. Anytime Pastor Deboe share, shares it, they argue it. And I, when, you know what I used to say? Whenever they argue that testimony online, I always say they argue it because they don't know the God of miracles. That miracle that he said, he was traveling. His driver was on high speed. And the road was narrow. It was a small bridge. Another vehicle, a, a trail, a lorry was coming with high speed. And there was no how the driver could slam the brakes. They will have, you know, there will have been this head on collusion, you know. But as they got close to each other, they didn't know how they passed beside each other. <laughs> Pastor Adibu said he told his driver, stop. How did we pass? They got down and they went to start checking. They started counting by foot. Let's check. And they discovered that the two vehicles would never have passed by themselves without colliding in, in, into each other. Which means something happened. God showed up. He expanded the bridge and brought it back for them to pass. And that is what he calls our bread. Which means that for a child of God, miracle is our food. Hey, hey, hey. Say miracle. Thank God, it's not that we're bagging with him. Look at, he shared that testimony with me after Shiloh yesterday. He was having serious pain, sign of stroke on his left hand, left leg. To, towards the, he said the only place left that the thing was not yet happening was his tongue. And yesterday we were praying at Shiloh. We were shouting, blood of the lamb, 
blood of Jesus intervene in my matter. I noticed that he lay on the floor. And after the service, he came. He said, sir, this is the first time. It's like they, somebody carried the pain out of that left part. He said, sir, I'm not feeling anything again. So if you are asking, will God still show up? It means you don't know him. Because if he comes according to your planning and timing, it's not a miracle. Abisa. Ah. As you are here now, do you know that so God may be talking to somebody about you now? Oh, you don't know? <laughs> okay, you, you that you are seated. You that you are seated. Have God not spoken to you before about certain people that you have not talked to? Shalom will buy us or any man what can. But because he is God, he doesn't announce his plan. He is God. He doesn't announce his plan. So we become worried. You know, you know, I, I, I probably understand this because he's a mathematician. He's good with maths. Thank you. You are the one that taught my daughter. She too is very, very good in maths now. You know, there are some mathematics. Like me, I got lost when we were doing long rhythm and latitude. That was where I stopped. Mr. Folabi. Only so, but you walk, you walk, you walk. What's the answer, you? Um, um, I knew we had daughter. What is daughter? So, we change method. If you say, you, we say, master, I, 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 I. We don't know it. Because we notice that those that raised their hand, he doesn't used to call them. But the day he called me. <laughs> when he, he said, what's the answer? I said, I, 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 I. He said, oh, yeah, come on. I follow me. Come on, do it. My name say. <laughs> that was my last day <laughs> attending his class. But Etuwa Wunisha Yano, three years ago, I received a call. Please, sir, we're in front of the church. We want you to pray for me. I'm very sick. And I got here. Where's the person calling me? He says in the car, Mr. Folabi. He has stroke, but he didn't know that I am the boy. As I look at him, I first wanted to say, die. <laughs> but the mercy of God will not allow you to curse anybody. And I didn't tell him, sir, do you know me? I didn't say so. So that he will not despise the oil that will work for him. He said, sir, this left leg and this left hand cannot move. Let me not continue the story. I have a question. Why then are several children of God stranded today if we have such a loving father? Why then are several children of God stranded today since we have a loving father, I think I said, I can see. I have a card. Only my dad is down. Answer down question. He need to see a girl. Come on, no one stranded. The Lulu Babata Lani. Kala come on, like a tattoo. I'm a Kumati. Matthew chapter 20. Let's go there. We are going to read 1 to 15. Are we there? This is the first time Brother Precious is sitting in the congregation. Uh -uh. 
What well, about you on suspension? <laughs> because I'm surprised. He needs a miracle. You said so. Matthew 20, from verse 1. Who is there? Are you intimidated? Okay. For the kingdom of heaven, a parable to Jesus here, is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. We'll read up to 15. I want you to be fast. Once I'm through, show me next verse. Now, when he had ag agreed with the laborers for a dinarus, a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, you also go into the vineyard and whatsoever is right, I will give you. So they went. Again, he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle. And said to them, why have you been standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. And whatsoever is right, you will receive. So when evening had come, the owner of the vineyard said to his stewards, Call the laborers and give them their wages, beginning with the last to the first. We stop at 15. And when those came who were hired about the 11th hour, they each received a dinarus. But when the first came, they supposed that they would receive more. And they likewise received each a dinarus. And when they had received it, they complained against the landowner, Inubimo, saying, These last men have worked only one hour, and you made them equal to us, which have, become, which have borne the burden of the heat of the day. But he answered, one of them and said friend I am doing you no wrong did you not agree with me for a dinarus I've been to Mojo agree but we call any but he answered okay next verse 14 take what is yours and go your way I wish to give to this last man the same as to you and verse 15 is it not lawful for me to do what I wish with my own things or is your eyes evil because I am good? Now, we are through with that. Remove it. There are three answers I have here. Why then are several children of God stranded today? The first thing I want you to see here is that the house owner, listen, purposely came for labor as so. First lesson, laborers lowawao, abi laborer ko lowawa ni. He didn't come to call the people that came to buy in the market. He came purposely for laborers. Hear me. First lesson, miracle is only for children of God. Now, don't forget, I've not answered my question. Why is it that several children of God are stranded? But I just want to take this number one as general. Miracle is not for all. That's why the Bible calls it, when we started, calls it what the children's bread. And you see that the owner of the vineyard came for laborers. Are you still in the faith? Are you born again or a church goer? Do you know that some people are just coming to church, they are not born again? Some people are even workers. They are not born again. They still lie. They still cheat. They still commit all kinds of atrocity. 
And you'll be saying, Lord, I don't know why. I don't know why I've not gotten a miracle. You have not gotten a miracle because you are not right with God. So if you want God to show up for you, understand the first question and, and the first answer. He had specific people in mind. Miracle is for believers, children of the kingdom. If you have fallen from Christ, from salvation, it is not for you. So many so-called born-again Christians are, all, are not known by God. Don't backslide and still look for a miracle. You should be a member of the family to have access to one. He was looking for, he came for what? Laborers. So why is it that so many so-called children of God are still stranded? Some of them are not actually children of God. Oh, if you think I am lying, a pastor was sharing an experience. He went to preach in a church in Nigeria, not in Kutonu, not in Cameroon, not in Ghana. And by the time he finished preaching, they said they should take him to his hotel. And as he got to his hotel room, he wanted to enter. A lady was about to enter with him with towel. He said, give me the towel. The lady said, no, sir. I'm supposed to take you to the room with you because I was instructed by my pastor to take care of you tonight. So he said, he asked, take care of me as how? He said, all the guest preachers have one, one girls in their room that they must sleep with. So me, I'm assigned to you. Ah. He is much like church in you. Uru kotan si ni na ku uru kaje su ni. So he said, he said, hold on. Call the guest, the host. Hello, my friend. How are you? He said, I'm fine. I've got into my hotel, but there's a situation. He said, he said, what's the situation? Let me know, let me know. He said, there's a lady here. Oh, he said, that lady, I forgot to tell you, that's our own way of encouraging servants of God. He said, he asked, sir, is there no fornication in your own Bible? He said, then the lady, the pastor said, you know what? Give the phone to the receptionist. He gave the phone to the receptionist. And after some talking, the receptionist said, Sir, uh, you are actually going to be responsible for the hotel bill tonight, sir. He said, I don't understand. I am a guest. He said, they just told us that you are not their guest. How much is the hotel bill? They said, it's just 40000 up per night, sir. Ah. They have not given me an honorarium. He said, he tried to make some calls. The thing didn't go through. The pastor said he went to sleep inside his car. Now, that's why I see, I don't, me, when I see some terrible things happen to some people, I don't judge God. Hello? Because you don't know where that person is standing with God. Hold on, leave my mom. Hold on, leave who do you know? Excitement is Excitement is Are you still a child of God? I, I know when I got born again. Hear me. Do you know when you got born again? Or you just only came, maybe because ah, music here, do music here, do the Shangwa church. You know what I'm always playing? Ah, Uluwa, Shanu Fumio, Timi Mudokwin. Because I know that if the trumpet sound, Paranana, the first place people want to go is Pastor's house. Abi, Eja Lo, we are Pastor, we are shaking it, we are Lord. I want to be me, Leo. 
ton ba ku le pastor ton ni papa ti lo mama ti lo awon mo won ti lo won eje ka lo sile en tun kawo church abi won di ki fe mi lo ka church owo church eja lo le won eja lo le won eja lo le won eyin eyin wi oh yeah let's leave that one number 2 second lesson as my answer listen i also want you to look at this you will notice that everybody's time of visitation in that scripture was not the same or did you not notice it the the own the land owner did not employ everybody at the same time he first came in the morning and saw some people and told them you 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 follow me and he came back again ah uh -uh. You people are still here. Oh yeah, you, 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 follow me. Third hour. He came back again, sixth hour. Ah, you people are still here. You, 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 follow me. He came back again, ninth hour. Ah, you people are still here. You, 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 follow me. Then one hour to the end of the day of work. Now, those of you that do secular work, one hour to the end of the day of work is what time? Like what time? 5 p.m. If it's government work. Can you see why our government is not prospering? How can you close work for? They say it's 3 o'clock. One, one hour to close your time. Government work. If not soon work, which one be closing time? Morning shift. If it's not three shifts, two shifts. Six to six, Abby. So, which means 5 p.m. Can you imagine? Our timings are different. Stop comparing yourself with anybody. Some people receive their divine visitation early in life. But because you don't know your father, you are crying. Oh, oh, oh. Look at, look at, look at. God has blessed him. Ev Evan just got healed yesterday. Look at me and my leg is still like this. Let me tell your neighbor, our time of visitation cannot be the same. So rejoice with those whose time of visitation has come and continue waiting for your own. You know, some of you will just feel sad when people come here to share testimony. Praise God, I just moved into my house last week Sunday. You feel sad. They can't build your own house. Ah, there was a time that traveling abroad was the cheapest. Now that is expensive. Do you know that some people are just getting their own visa now? Because this is their own time. That's why when Job was speaking, he said, I will wait until my change comes. Because you met your friend, you got married together, you have not given back to firstborn, she's given back to number the third. You don't get to, you're crying, ah, ah, Lord, Lord, Rachel is giving back to the third born. I am still here trusting God for the first time. Our timing cannot be the same. Let me branch. Somebody has a question here. Sir, what about those who are not children of God or born again but still enjoy or receive miracles when they cry to God? What they receive is not miracles. It's, well, it's not the main bread. It's crumbs. You saw it in the scripture. The one that fell that God's children were careless about. Now, let me branch that place. Let me tell you that truth. How can children, uh, uh, food fall from the children's table? Do you know that there are some things God wants to bless you with that you don't have faith for? And that's been released. That's why let your faith as a child of God be high. Let me use as, as an example. You are trusting God for a child. 
And God is looking at you that I will bless this young man with twins. And the pastor is saying, ah, I see twins coming your way. Ah, let me have one first. The second one we fall off. I'm showing you the crumbs that fell from children's table. That's what the unbelievers receive. To answer this person's question. Because miracle is the children's bread. For instance, you have a business. Let me use your school as an example. God is bringing to the people are registering. People are registering. And you know that your building capacity is not large. Now, you are not thinking of a bigger building. It will get to a point, the people that God wants to bring, when they get there, they look at Usai. What will happen? The miracle that is also be yours, not you, will now be spread. Let's look at school around. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let's look at schools around. Because you didn't expand your capacity for what God wants to bring to you. Those are crumbs. If I can close this eye again. Since you have joined this church 15 years ago, that's be your style. Don't close this eye again. So, back to our message. Back to our message. Listen, some got there as early. Some are the third hour. Some are the sixth hour. Some are the ninth hour. Then some at the eleventh hour. Yet, the master knew how to balance everything. So don't be bothered about the timing. He may get to Lagos ahead of you. Don't be bothered. You will get to your own Lagos too. And the third lesson. Have you learned the second lesson? Understand your father. We all may not have the same timing. So rejoice with those whose time has come. I wonder how those people will be going. Ah, but you, okay, you have gotten, they have called you here. Yeah, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. You know, bye-bye. I wonder how they will feel when they saw the 11th hour man coming. Ah, the master eventually came to you too. Ah, we've been here since morning oh, and the work is almost finished too. Oh. Lastly, do you know that the householder was touched that some laborers were still waiting even till the 11th hour? What should be the lesson? Continue to wait. Because it's coming. You know when he got it, ah, ah, are you still standing? That should be your life. So I, I am still standing. I will still continue to wait for him. At least when their own daddy came, on payment day, they were shocked. That you gave him the miracle that did not make him to show that he came last. You know, there are some miracles that God will give you. It will not show that you have experienced the pain. So, I'm summarizing. Continue waiting. Continue trusting God. He will show up. The Bible says it's not a man that he will lie. Neither is he the son of man that he will what? He will repent. He's God. Say, Lord, I will wait for you. That's the father you have. And that's what he said I should come and tell you. Begin to thank him for his love. I thank you for your love, Lord. You love me so much. Jesus, you love me too well. Can you play? Jesus, you love me so much. Sagada Baba say. Rise up on your feet. 
Thank you for loving me too much. Thank you, Lord, my.